Good morning dear students. So today we'll be discussing a new chapter from a social science textbook and the name of the chapter is Coastal Plains and Islands. Alright. But before I discuss the chapter, let me tell something about Indian Peninsula. So chapter to Arambo Karagode, Modamalo Indian Peninsula Maniki, Tarbiko Lob Kom. Tikase. Okay. Do you know the southern part of India is covered by water bodies on its three side? So India is the southern part. Is the southern part to kill Tinifale on its three side covered by water bodies. This is the southern part of India. So a southern uh, part to east of the Bay of Bengal, west of the Arabian Sea and south of the Indian Ocean. So, what do The India is southern part to three sides. Tinita water body se cover kuriya se. Tika se ekani yakwa hoy peninsula. Okay, so let me show it in another map. Okay, this is southern part of India. A e southern part or istopale se istopale toka jitu water body naam ki Bay of Bengal and the water body that is there in the western uh, side of India that is Arabian Sea. Again south of alagiya se Indian Ocean. So therefore, this region hmm, is called Indian Peninsula. It is more like Indian Peninsula. Indian Peninsula. All right. So peninsula three side. This is Indian Peninsula three side. A water body is cover Korea. So you just remember it. Now we'll uh, explain. What is called coastal plains? It is coastal plains. Man, again, my explain going. Hmm. So, coastal plain is a flat area of land situated adjacent to a water body like sea or ocean. is known as coastal plains. Now, the coastal plain, man, again, coastal plain is an area of land. Hmm. The plain area, why? And it is uh, adjacent, adjacent or connected. Hmm. Adjacent or connected to a water body, it may be a sea or it may be a ocean. At a plain area, where a plain area to Hagar by Mohagor, the plain area, why? Because are we to Hagor and Mohagor or Kihol connected to it again? Now let me show it in the picture. Okay, this is a plain area, right? And this plain area is connected. To SC. Alright, so this part, this part is called coastal plains. Hmm. Again, let me show you another picture. Again, this picture. Can you see this plain area? Yes. So, this is called coastal plain area. And you can see here, this plain area is connected to a sea. Alright, that means, Hagar Logot connect to a this is a plain area. Hoy. Se? So, this is a plain area. Toke kua hoy, coastal plains. Now, I think you have understood what is called coastal plain. Hmm. Next. The southern region of India being a peninsula. The coastal region is expansive. Already I have told you. Right. So, India is the southern part. This is called peninsula. Yes. That means water body is Cover Kurise. Therefore, Indian coastal plains. Yes. So these are the coastal plains of India. Do you follow? Hmm. So a coastal plain area kita expansive. And a boat roller ki hoise extend hoise. Hmm. Spread hoise. The coastal plains are divided into eastern coastal plains and western coastal plains on other side of Deccan Plateau. Okay. So now, first you have to know where is Deccan Plateau. This area is called Deccan Plateau. Okay, say, Deccan Plateau on other side. That means Deccan Plateau do it aside. It to east, Deccan Plateau it is west. So Deccan Plateau east of Palakia say, eastern coastal plains. A part to eastern coastal plains. 
और डेकान प्लेट वेस्ट फाले कि दिस इज वेस्टार्ण कस्टल प्लेन्स यू दिस पार्ट इज इस्टार्ण कस्टल प्लेन्स एंड दिस पार्ट इज वेस्टार्ण कस्टल प्लेन्स राइट ओके लेट मी शो इट इन एनदार पिक्चर So these are the two coastal plains of India. Hmm. How many coastal plains we have got? We have got two coastal plains there. One is eastern coastal plains and another one is western coastal plains. Hmm. And they are located on the other side of Deccan Plateau. Here the Deccan Plateau is Deccan Plateau. East of Alaska, a part two. Eastern coastal plains. Hmm. East of Alaska, what are the eastern coastal plains? And this plain here, color is a color. Can you see this area in color? Right. So a part two is a western coastal plains. What are they? Since it is located in the western part of India, hmm. so mark that one. Eastern coastal plains and western coastal plains. So east of Alaska, what are they? This is called eastern coastal plains, and west of Alaska, what are they? This region is called western coastal plains. Hmm. Okay. Fine. Next. The white stretch of land between Eastern Ghat and Bay of Bengal is referred to as Eastern Coastal Plains. Now we'll discuss in details about Eastern Coastal Plains. Hmm. Etia, where is Eastern Coastal Plains? Eastern Coastal Plain is situated uh, where? Eastern Coastal Plain, Kota se, Kunfale se, its location. Okay. So Eastern Coastal Plain as a This is Eastern Coastal Plains. A area to this area, hmm. starting from Tamil Nadu up to West Bengal. Did you know? Okay, this region is called Eastern Coastal Plains. Hmm. Our Eastern Coastal Plain is between Eastern Ghat and Bay of Bengal. So Eastern Coastal Plain is located between. This is where Eastern Ghat is there, and this is Bengal, Bay of Bengal. All right. So this area is called Eastern Coastal Plains. Now let me show it in map. All right. So can you see the map? This blue region is Bay of Bengal. Hmm. Bay of Bengal. All right. So. This area, this plain area, it is located or situated between Bay of Bengal and can you see the Eastern Ghat? Yes. So, Eastern Coastal Plain is situated between Eastern Ghat and Bay of Bengal. Eastern Coastal Plain area to Eastern Ghat or Bay of Bengal or Madhat. माने सिचुएटेड होया से ठीक है से ओके सी डी वाइट स्ट्रेस ऑफ लैंड बिटवीन ईस्टर्न गर ऑलरेडी आई सोनी हम एंड बेअ बेंगल इस रेफर्ड एस ईस्टर्न कोस्टल प्लेन्स इट स्ट्रेस फ्रॉम तमिलनाडु ऑन डी साउथ to West Bengal on the north. That means this entire coastal plain area, yes, eastern coastal plain area, stress, corp stress, say, starting from Tamil Nadu. This is where Tamil Nadu is there. Yes, Tamil Nadu by coastal plains area to start with, it is extended up to West Bengal. Hmm. So you remember this one. So eastern coastal plains start from Tamil Nadu on the south. Eastern coastal plains are south of Alaki, say. This is where Tamil Nadu, yes, and extended up to West Bengal. West Bengal, kun phale se, north of phale se. All right, okay. And uh, the wide of this land at certain parts stretch up to one twenty kilometer. That means wide too. ठीक है से? The wide of this land at certain places stretch up to one twenty kilometer. One twenty kilometer wide area too. But not in all the places at certain area. Hmm. Okay. The rivers Mahanadi, uh, Godavari, Krishna, Kaveri, 
from large delta okay before draining into bay of bengal so uh, you can see in this uh, region four major rivers right first they form deltas and finally they join into bay of bengal okay let me show it in the map hmm. so these are the four major rivers you can see in this region hmm the eastern coastal plain area to maloke saikon major river dekhi bole baba first one is mahanadi then kaveri then krishna then kaveri all right so all these four major rivers uh, they finally join into bay of bengal okay this is bay of bengal this blue area is bay of bengal so all these four major rivers finally they, they flow and finally they join into bay of bengal hmm but before they join they first form some delta delta now i'll show you what is called delta all right okay so these are the picture of delta this is an energy river economy flow away take yes somewhere they form such delta delta means land area hmm land area formed by the river that the river economy and again flow away take hmm flow away take a hole they carry with them the sediment hmm sediment money key hole hill bali are both to keep us to keep all the river carries and finally the tonic equally the deposit them in certain area is any hill valley are tired about low hot the black sediment black that they any focus on tight key correct deposit core are both both of it after long period of time they from this kind of delta because so delta money key river will like a look at low ha सेडिमेंट मिला हम्म जी तू एरिया डिपॉजिट करे आर बहुत बहुत सारे मोड दे फ्रॉम सास लेन एरिया मात इन्हें को क्यों लिबार मार्जर टेट इन्हें को क्यों हल लेन एरिया क्रिएट करे एंड दे आर कॉल्ड डेल्टा सो ऑल दिस मेजर फोर रिवर्स हम्म महानदी गोदावरी कृष्णा एंड काबेरी बिफोर दे जॉइन बे ऑफ � from delta a area will have got the from delta delta money to compala is one then area create query before they join in join into bay of bengal hmm okay so uh this region is very fertile hmm this plain area is very fertile okay therefore good for uh cultivation you remember it the region received both uh, northeastern and southwestern monsoon and uh, experienced high levels of humidity. All right. So you just remember one more thing. This coastal plain area, this coastal plain area, again, let me show you in the map. Hmm. This coastal plain area. Eastern coastal plain area and western coastal plain area. This two coastal plain area uh, receive rainfall from both from both where? Okay. Both north eastern and southeastern. North eastern and southeastern monsoon. Hmm. North eastern that means north of Alapaha suppose. Hmm, okay, again, let me show it in the map. Hmm. So, these are the two coastal plain area, right? Eastern coastal plains and western close coastal plains. So, they receive both northeastern. Hmm. So, this is north and this is east. So, this coastal plain area, they receive both northeastern monsoon, all right? and southeastern one southwestern okay this is south then this is west all right so they receive both northeastern and southwestern monsoon therefore these two region you know uh, you can see 
precipitation or rainfall. Uh, because of this, northeastern northeastern monsoon and southeastern monsoon. All right. Okay. Now this plain area are broadly divided into three division. This eastern coastal plain area is mainly divided into how many how many region? Three region. That means eastern coastal plains have three division. Okay, so what is the first one? Utkal plains. Hmm. This is the coastal tract of Orisha and includes the Mahanadi Delta. Hmm. Silka, you just remember. Silka, the largest lake in India is found in this area. Hmm. So what is the first division of Eastern Coastal Plains? It is Utkal Plains. Hmm. And this coastal plain area is the coastal track of Orisha and it includes also the Mahanadi Delta. And a Utkal plain area is the India's largest deep lake. Silka Lake is located. Hmm. Remember it. Next, Andhra. It extends from Utkal Plains on the north to Pulikat in the south. So, A G2 Andhra Plain area. This plain area extends from Utkal Plains to north on the north to Pulikat. Pulikat on in the south. Hmm. Another important feature is the delta from by the river Godavari and Kaveri. So, A Andhra Plain area to Kihol. Uh, the river Godavari and Kaveri from many river delta. Alright, so you remember it. Third, Tamil Nadu plains. It extends from Pulikat Lake to Kanyakumari. The most important feature of uh, feature is the Kaveri delta. Hmm. The fertile soil and the irrigation facilities are made in uh, greenery of southern India. So one of the very important feature of the Tamil Nadu plain is the Kaveri Delta, Kaveri uh, River Delta. All right, means e on the plain here to e river Kaveri ki kori se, river Delta form kori se. Aro e from Kaveri River ki kori se, irrigation ogarne. Kheti badi kori bogarne ki hol uh, water, water is supplied from Kaveri River. He kani southern India. Hmm. E jero Tamil Nadu, yes, uh, greenery hoy kese. Because they get water supply from the river Kaveri. Okay. Now, uh, this text part will explain it uh, later. Alright. So, uh, next part to explain it. Alright. Okay.